we are going to explain how to use debugger. The most popular debugger is GDB. It is a command line debugging tool made by GNU, and it provides many functions which can trace the internal behaviors of the computer program while it is executed. So you can examine the value of each variables while you are running a program, and also you can trace the function call link. When you use GDB, you first have to compile your program with option dash g that instruct the compiler to include proper informations that can be used by the GNU debugger GDB. So this slide set in page 4, it explains how you could use GDB. On the left hand side there is uh, GDB on the bot test.c, this is the program. And um, when you compile this program, uh, let me run GDB with a test.c. A test.c is the same file you see on your PowerPoint slide set. Um, this, uh, this prints out a sequence of hello world strings. So uh, let me compile it um, with uh, and then I am going to run it with a test. We have created a test binary and then we can run GDB with test. Okay, then we can set up a breakpoint and then in this GDB uh, you can run a test program test uh, with many options. You can run, uh, execute a program line by line and for each line you can examine the variable and then we can, you can examine the contents and value of the variables. GDP provides a number of uh, commands. You can execute a line, uh, you can use the program line by line. And there is continue, step, next, list. Continue command run the program continuously until you encounter the next breakpoint. Step or command S instructs the GGB to run a program by S number of lines. If um, cursor is on a function, then the GDB steps into the function. Next instruction instructs the GDB to run a GDB run the program next amount of time, next number of lines. It also can print the variable value of a variable and also it can print the type of a variable. You can establish a breakpoint. A breakpoint can be specified by line number or by the name of the function. We are going to debug the Pinto source code with a GDB. Okay. So current directory is build. So here we are going to run Pintas but with GDB option. So Pintas pin, Pintas and we are giving the GDB option and we are using QEM new and then after we finish we're gonna quit and multiple. Uh, we, we go to the build directory where the Pintos kernel resides and then we type the kernel and then next thing is that we have to connect the debugger to the Pintos operating system we have just um, launched. To do that, we type target remote localhost-1234. So Pintos, uh, Pintos exports a port number 1234 and debugger is connecting to that port to exchange the debugging information with Pintas. So now the debugger has connected to Pintas. Now the debugger can control the execution of a Pintas operating system. Let's first establish a breakpoint at main function. Now we are going to continue to run until the debugger encounters breakpoint. Continue or you can just type C. The Pintas process and it encounters the main function and it stays there. Then we can uh, instruct the debugger to execute the Pintas one line at a time. Next line, next line. Okay. 
And then uh, we can set up a breakpoint using the name of the function, for example, schedule. And then if we uh, display the information about the breakpoint, then uh, two breakpoints are defined. And then the schedule is defined at line 557 of thread.c file. And then we continue execution until the debugger encounters schedule function. Go here. And then um, uh, we execute the next statement one by one. And then we can certainly step into the running on the bar thread function. Let's step into the running thread. Okay. Now we are going into the running thread. So it looks that running thread is calling some assembly instructions. Now this is how you execute the debugger. There are many ways to set a breakpoint. You can break, uh, set a breakpoint by line number, or you can set a breakpoint by function name, and also you can set the breakpoint of file name, colon, or function name. This is very useful when a function, same function, is defined multiple times in a different files. And also, uh, after you set up a breakpoint, you want to remove it, and you want to remove some of the breakpoints you have established before. So um, let's say there are two breakpoints established. So you can delete the breakpoint by specifying the breakpoint number. Then you'll see there's only break only one breakpoint left after we delete breakpoint B. As a very last part, you want to finish the execution. Then type finish. Okay, and then you quit GDB. Okay, you are going uh, we are going to detach the GDB from the running Pinterest operating system. So GDB has finished. So the Pintos is shutting down because the GDB is over. Now we are done. That's the end of how we use GDB.